Hey guys, it's Mike 238 and today we will be building a cemetery, a cool looking creepy cemetery. And I know I did originally say that, um, right there, you'll, you'll see what that is eventually in the video. Um, I, do, I know I did initially say that I was going to build a haunted house, but when I was looking through all the mansions and stuff, or, or like YouTube videos, there's so many tutorials on how to build a haunted mansion, but not necessarily a good graveyard. So I went ahead for the Halloween theme and I built a creepy haunted graveyard. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead as usual and I'm going to post the materials for you right here. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is uh, for the cemetery, you're going to get some nether bricks out. So go ahead, get some nether bricks. And you want to get it, like pretty much every variation of nether bricks. So because we use just about every variation. So we get the walls, the slabs, we get the fence too. All right, now we're going to start at the front left corner of the grave. So go ahead and go, I think it's one, two, three, four, up. And I think this is the beginning. This is just going to be the initial post right here. Go ahead and actually get out your dark oak wood too. So get some dark oak planks and some dark oak stairs as well. And this should, yeah, that brings a nice contrast. So, all right. So now with the dark oak wood, we'll put one oak plank here and we'll put two stairs. And then we'll put another dark oak plank. And then we're going to encase that like in a layer of nether bricks, as you can see how I'm doing. Kind of like this. It goes over and around the uh, dark oak wood stairs. Okay. And now we're going to stack this up right here. And now we're gonna put one layer of dark oak planks over this layer of nether bricks right here. And on top of that, actually, you're, you're gonna to wanna to get this out too, is uh, iron bars. So go ahead, get that too. And we'll put the iron bars on top of this wood. And then you also wanna get your black carpet. So sorry about this. It uses a lot of blocks in this design. But we we'll go ahead and put our black carpets right here. <clears throat> and this is gonna be the basic wall. Basically, the only thing that's gonna be different, oh, actually, I had nether brick walls here, here, here and put nether brick slabs on top of all that. So this is going to be basic, the basic wall uh, layout for the entire build, but we're going to have different spires on top, different like little, um, little needle things. I don't know what those are exactly called, but I've seen them on a lot of cemeteries. So that's what we're going to add. So we're going to add a nether brick wall here, nether brick wall here. And then on top of that, we're going to add one nether brick. So like that on each one. And then on top of that, on top of this corn, uh, this post right here, since it's the corner, you're going to want it to be one of the tallest uh, spires there is. So you're just going to put a nether brick wall, then a fence, and then an iron uh, bar. And then on this one right here, since it's not as significant because it's one of the middle kind of sections, we'll go ahead and put just a fence or uh, oops, a fence, and then an iron bar right there. All right. So now we're going to repeat the pattern for the wall. And I'm going to show you how to do this entire wall, how to build this entire thing, because this wall eventually will, you will replicate it on the other side. And then the front entrance and the back of the grave are different. So let me go ahead and finish this wall real quick. And I'll, I'll just go through the entire thing block by block. All right. So now we'll get our nether bricks out and we're going to go one, two, three, four. And we're going to go right here, build a one, two, three, four post. So one, two, three, four, like that. All right. We'll go ahead and add in our dark oak planks, repeating the same pattern again. Put in our dark oak planks above right here. Then we put our iron bars with the black carpet on top of that. Look at that. I placed every single one first try. All right. And so now we'll also go ahead and add this little section with the brick, uh, with the wall and the slab. Now we'll go ahead and uh, add the nether brick wall right here. And for this one, we'll, we'll, act, we'll go ahead and put the block on too. But for this one, we're actually just going to put a fence post. That's literally it for that one. All right, so moving on to the next one, let's go ahead and repeat the pattern. And it's kind of a nice pattern, you know, it repeats. It's pretty easy to follow around, you know. It's not too complex, but with the spires, it adds a little bit of diversity so that it doesn't look like you're repeating the same pattern every single time. And it makes the build look, I don't know, it just makes it look very nice. So there's that. We'll go ahead and put a, oop, one more block here, then the nether brick wall, then the block on post. All right. And for this pyre, uh, this is actually going to be the highest spike thing that we have. So we'll actually go ahead and put one wall here, then we'll put one fence, and then we'll actually put two iron bars on top like that. So you can see this is the tallest one. We got the corner one, which is the second tallest. And then it kind of just gradually goes down. It goes down, then up. It just spikes up in the middle to make it look a little bit more different. And then we're actually going to repeat this ex entire pattern, except in reverse. Let me show you what I mean real quick. So we put uh, dark oak planks here, here, get the stairs and repeat the general wall pattern that I showed you in the beginning. We bring this up, put the dark oak wood here, get the iron bars, put the carpet right there and then the block all right so what i mean and i'll put this real quick there so what i mean when we say we're going to repeat the pattern except in reverse is we're going to put the fence here 
Oop, right on top. And then we'll just kind of repeat. So the next, uh, we'll, you'll, you'll do the same wall pattern. And then the next one would be this post right here. Then you'll do the same wall pattern. And then the next post would be right there. So go ahead and finish that real quick. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move to the back. And as you can see, uh, we just did exactly like I said we would. We duplicated this side right here. We got uh, this one spire, replicating that spire, and it's just like the reverse pattern. And eventually we are gonna have this exact same wall on the other side. This is just one of the side walls. And so I'm probably not gonna go over that in the video. And if you guys need to see how to do it again, you can either just re-watch the video or go on your world back and forth and, and try to figure out how I uh, built it. it just, it's just gonna be the, this duplicated except flipped around just like that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and move to the back. And the back is kind of the same pattern, but a tiny bit different. So first we're gonna do the uh, usual wall, which is one dark oak plank, uh, two dark oak stairs, and then another one dark oak plank. We're gonna cover that with the nether bricks real quick, then make a one, two, three, four uh, high nether brick post. We're gonna put four dark oak planks over that, four iron bars over that, and then four black carpet over that. And then for this specific spire right here, we're actually just gonna go up one fence and then one iron bars, just like that. And we'll go ahead and put this little guy here again, a uh, little extra detail right there. Okay, for this next part though, it is a little bit different, not too different. It's pretty much the exact same pattern. I'll go ahead and do it. So we put one dark oak plank and there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five dark oak wood stairs, then one, another dark oak plank. And from there, it's just a, pretty much the same pattern. You cover it with the nether bricks over this like right here. You make the one, two, three, four uh, nether brick post. Then you put another layer of dark oak wood right here. You put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, iron bars. And then you get your uh, black carpet and go ahead and put that over the top of the fence right there. You go ahead and put a nether brick wall right here, another brick uh, block. And then we'll put a fence and we'll put another spire right there. So it's actually gonna be the same height as that one right there. And of course, we'll put in these little guys right here. And then we'll duplicate this wall over here. So this is just the big middle one. And the reason we have this one a little bit longer than the rest of the walls we've been building is because it's gonna match up with the entrance over there. And the entrance, of course, is a little bit bigger than this four section right here. So we'll go ahead and duplicate that section over there, which is one, uh, we put one dark oak plank, two dark oak wood stairs, another dark oak wood plank. And then we encase it with another brick, one, two, three, four high up we put one two three four dark oak planks we put the iron bars we put the carpet which is always the most annoying part then we put a nether brick wall here this post uh this block right here and then for this side we're actually going to go ahead and duplicate uh this post right here so we're going to put one nether brick wall one nether brick fence and then one iron bar on top of that and we'll go ahead and put these little guys, again, as always, never don't, don't forget about these guys. I keep doing that, keep forgetting. Okay, so this is the back entrance uh, complete. And like I said, we're actually just gonna duplicate this wall over here and we're just gonna pretty much slap it down right here. It's gonna be exactly matching up with this. And when you're finished, the two walls, the two exterior nether brick posts should line up perfectly. So yeah, go ahead and duplicate this wall on this side, which I will go ahead and do. And then I'll show you how to make the front entrance gate. Okay, so now we got this wall over here duplicated, like I said we would. It's uh, just the exact same. You see the spires match up and the end blocks match up right there. And we also got the back uh, created as well. So now we're gonna go ahead and work on the front entrance. Then we'll work on the interior uh, little building over here, which will lead down to uh, barracks. All right, so let's go ahead and start over on the left side right here. We're gonna get oh, dark oak planks, two dark oak stairs, two dark uh, another dark oak plank. And as you can already tell, you could probably tell, I'm, I'm just duplicating the wall we've been doing. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And we'll put the nether bricks here with the iron bars going over. We'll have the black carpet going over that. And then we will have the wall right here. We got the, uh, uh, this block right here. Stop right there though and go ahead and work on this other side now, which is gonna be the exact same thing. So dark oak planks, two dark oak stairs, one dark oak plank, the blocks going over the top like that, dark oak planks going right there, another block right here, and the, fen uh, the iron bar going over with the black carpet on top, then the wall and that right there. Okay, so this is gonna be the beginning of the entrance. As you can see, the entrance is gonna be right here in the build. So we'll actually go ahead and get our fence out and we're gonna put one fence right here and then we're gonna put a block on top of that then we're gonna put another fence going uh, towards the middle and another block on top of that. Then on top of this block with the nether bricks, we're gonna put another brick stair and then an upside down nether brick stair right here. And then we'll put a slab right there. And before we duplicate this on the other side, we're gonna go ahead and finish this side off. So we're gonna put 
one slab right here. So above the block that's above the first time. So we'll put a slab right there. And then we'll put another brick wall with a fence on top and an iron uh, bar to create this kind of like spire shape that we've been going with throughout the whole build. Okay, now we'll do the other side. And I'll go a little bit slower because I did go a little bit fast on this side. So uh, again, we'll do a fence here, another brick above that, another brick fence here, another brick above that. And then on top of this nether brick, we'll put a stair and we'll go over here and do an upside down stair. Then we'll put a slab and the slab uh, you can see goes right underneath the stair right there. Make it kind of look even. On this part, we'll put a nether brick wall, nether brick fence, and then iron bar. And then for the mi uh, middle, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a nether brick block right here. Then we're going to do the same pattern. We're going to do a nether brick wall, fence, iron bar. And so this is, you can see how the uh, beginning, the, the structure is kind of coming together. It's still not completely finished because we're going to add a few more details to it. Like, of course, we don't want to forget about these things, even though we keep, at least I keep forgetting about them. We'll put one, two fence right there, one, two fence right there. And I believe that should be the entrance of the build completed. You got this cool looking uh, gothic arch. And, and I would say this whole build is kind of a gothic, uh, uh, gothic, gothic looking build. But yeah, so now we got the entrance done and we're gonna go ahead and work on the interior, this part that leads to the barracks and I'll show you what details I do to make the graveyard come to life. We might add some campfires for smoke if you're doing it in survival. I, I use a command block just cause command blocks are kind of nice and creative and it depends on what you're doing. If you're doing this in survival campfires, well, you'll, you'll see what I mean when uh, I talk about the fog. But yeah, that should be this section of the build complete. All right, so before we actually go ahead and do the floor and I give you the tutorial on how to build the graves and all of that, we're actually gonna go ahead, or, uh, and, go ahead and build this barracks right over here, which is really simple. You're gonna want, so first we're gonna get some dark oak planks. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. We'll put another bricks right here. We'll put one dark oak planks right here and one on the other side. This is gonna be where a doorway goes eventually. We'll go ahead and build this up real quick. So it's gonna go two, three, four like that, lining up with these guys. And now we're gonna fill this section in right here with nether bricks, put nether brick here and here. And then right here, we're gonna go ahead and fill this up with dark oak planks, just kind of matching the patterns on the wall. We're gonna put a fence on top of this, just almost exactly duplicating the uh, wall layers. And we'll put some fence over here as well. Then we'll put a nether brick wall on top of that. We'll put some black carpet right here. We'll put some black carpet on this one as well. And then for the roof, we're gonna go on this dark oak uh, plank right here, not the first one, but the third one. And on the top half, we're gonna fill it in with nether brick slabs. So fill this in real quick, like that. Okay, and then for the um, outside decorations on this part of the build, we'll put one of these guys right here, here, here. And I believe that's the only places we put it and we put the slabs on top, I don't know what these are called. We'll just call these little midgets, I guess. I, I, I don't know. All right, and then for the doors, we're just gonna go ahead and get dark oak wood doors and we'll put these right here. I probably will uh, eventually just replace the blocks under here and break these doors. So don't place the doors just yet. That's just, I guess, for a visual thing. Okay, so now that we got the little entrance, which will go down to the brocks done, we're gonna start working on the terraforming, the uh, ground of the build. So let's go ahead and jump into that. All right, so I did go ahead and actually put the floor down. And the reason being is because I'm not gonna do a block tutorial, block by block tutorial on all of this, just because that might take a little too long, but I will show you what I did. So the very first thing I did is I filled up this entire floor with cursed dirt, just because you don't want grass to come in and make this look pretty and nice, since this is really a, a haunted cemetery kind of thing, right? So I added a lot of podzol, I think this is what it is, yeah, podzol, and I added in the grass path block, which if you're doing that in survival, that might be a little obnoxious, because you don't want to replace everything with coarse dirt first, you want to get the path in first, kind of the general path. So that's what I would actually do, is I'd first put down all the podzol and get all the grass path, that way you won't have the problem of, say, accidentally, uh, putting a block right here, right? And then all of a sudden it's not surrounded by grass and you have to wait for a grass block to grow. That's just annoying. Un unless you have a self touch uh, shovel too, that always works too. But yeah, so first what I did is I filled up this entire thing with coarse dirt and uh, then I went ahead and got some grass path. I think that's what that's called. Yeah, grass path and some podzol. And I made a layer or, or a pathway going down straight down the middle. And I surrounded it by reoccurring fences. As, uh, as you can see, they're not totally connected, the nether brick fences that I have right here, but they do create a general shape going around the pathways. 
So you can see how there's a path going right here and you kind of got the fence going around, but it's not totally connected just to make it look like it's worn down, maybe broken down a little bit. And then you got the paths and, and it just wraps around with the paths kind of. That's how the fence behaves. And um, inside the fence areas, we got, went ahead and put some gravel. That These two gravel blocks represent where someone would be buried in a graveyard. And then you got the graves too, which I did miscellaneous types. I put like for here, I just put a uh, polished andesite stair. Right here, I put stone bricks and make it a stone brick slash mossy stone brick uh, cross. Over here, the graves got a little, a little bit interesting. I just put stairs winding up in this kind of tower looking thing. I try to get the graves to look as different as possible. Over here, I put... Uh, andesite wall with a mossy stone brick on top. So you see, each grave is a little bit different. On the ground in the graveyard, I also did put these spruce uh, stairs with the spruce signs on just because these are the easiest chairs I know how to make. And I put those around the build every once in a while. You see one right there and uh, right, one right there as well. And that's where someone could just sit if they were, say, visiting a loved one who had passed away. And then I also, I didn't add too many signs. You could definitely go all out with the signs if you want, but I put one right here that says rest in peace. Over here, this one says in loving memory, you know, cause that's something that's always, that, that's one of the things that's inscripted on some graves. Over here, I said hero Brian died here, which ooh, makes the grave a little bit creepier, I guess. And you see, I, those are some of the smaller details I added. But yeah, for the main palette of how you want to do the ground, it's podzel, grass path, and uh, coarse dirt. And then for the graves, I just went ahead. Uh, here's another one that says, here lies Notch. Hopefully, not anytime soon. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, and then we use a nether brick fence uh, to create a kind of pathway. So it makes it look like you're not just aimlessly wandering around. There's not just fence just randomly scattered. Over here, you could probably put flowers down for your loved ones and stuff. Maybe another cool detail, actually. I just thought of this off the top of my head, too. Uh, if you get wither roses, it makes it look a little bit creepier. And you can put some wither roses in front of the graves like that. And in front of a few of them, instead of putting nice pretty flowers, because if you put uh, pretty flowers, it will make the grave look a little bit less intimidating, which isn't what you want if you want a haunted grave. But yeah, and then we also have over here, you can see there's no graves right here. There's just a pathway. And that's because we have this path leading over here to these doors. As you can see, I actually did replace the blocks. And we're not gonna have this interior. This was just a guess I had uh, for when I was building and just an experiment. Um, but yeah, this is how the grave is gonna turn out. So yeah, and for the smoke, I, I was talking about smoke a lot in the last part of the video. If you get campfires, and you can do this in survival this way, or you can just get a command block with the particle effect. Say the particle effect is in the middle right here. Um, I can write down the command maybe in the description if you guys want me to so that you could see on how just to do that. But yeah, if you get the campfires and put them one block underneath, I believe some smoke should come up. Maybe that's too much smoke actually. Let's go ahead and put this down. It, it, it depends on how much smoke you want coming up. I don't want too much smoke coming up. Let's see. So you see how it's just one little smoke cloud. And if you did around, that around the whole thing just in random spots, maybe that's actually too low. It's just a lot of finagling and trying to figure out where you want it, but it will create this kind of foggy looking effect. I'll show you in my other world where I actually built this, what I did with the smoke. I, I did use a command block in the other world, but I'll show you the effect it gives. It gives this creepy kind of fog that sits over the grave and makes it look a little bit more creepy, a little bit more haunted. And now the very last thing we're actually gonna do is uh, this building right here. Instead of just having it an empty nether brick uh, floor right there, we're actually gonna make a cool spiraling staircase that goes down and I'll show you how to build that in the next part. Okay, so for this next part, we'll just go ahead and jump into this building and make the staircase real quick, which will be a little spiral staircase that goes down not too long, just in case maybe if you're in survival mode and you guys have like a shop or something, what I did in my survival, I didn't build this exact cemetery, but I created a cemetery because I had a mob farm. And then in the little barrack area, I went ahead and I put like bones and rotten flesh and stuff down there that people could buy if they wanted to. Not, not so much rotten flesh, but stuff like uh, gunpowder, bones and string that people could buy with diamonds and stuff. And so that would be, uh, so we don't want the staircase to be too long because if it's too long, it's gonna be a nice, it's gonna be this long, annoying winding staircase that you have to go down in order to buy stuff. But let's go ahead and st uh, step in here. Now with that said, we'll actually get some torches out and we're gonna place a torch here and here. And then we'll go ahead and get a sign out real quick. I'll just use oak sign for the time being. And I'm gonna write uh, rest in peace all below. Maybe the surface or something. Uh, it depends on what you wanna add. I just did this because it sounds kind of ominous. It's, it's a little creepy, but it's not too creepy too. And you got the torches too, because otherwise this room would be so dark. Maybe you can add some more details in this room too, like um, how, what, what we were doing with these guys earlier. We were adding these little things right here and you could add those. Maybe with the fence. Nah, the fence doesn't look as good. 
Uh, let's get the wall instead. We'll put two walls right there. And you could probably add more detail into this, but you don't want too much detail just because it's going to be a winding staircase. So for this staircase, it's super, super simple. You're going to want to go ahead and get the uh, nether brick stairs out. So get that out right there. And then we'll just go down in a winding kind of fashion like this. We'll go down. And I'll probably turn down this video because the glass sound is so loud when you're recording in Minecraft. It's crazy. Maybe we'll have, this will be a good height right here. And we'll go down just a little bit. This is kind of cool, actually. I've never uh, burrowed down into glass like this in a Minecraft world. You can see, oh, look, there's, there's a little campfire over there. I've never done this before uh, in glass because, you know, typically you see all the dirt. But yeah, you just want this nice little uh, winding staircase. How you want to build it is totally up to you. For this, I'll just, for this part of the video, I'll just go down that height. And then you're going to want to replace the rest with nether bricks. So the walls and everything start replacing that. You can replace this dirt right here too. Maybe you can add some wood textures in as well. It just depends on what you want to do. But yeah, so we're, we're going to go ahead and start replacing the walls. And this is the kind of the boring part of the video where I just show you how, how to replace the walls and how to go down in a winding staircase. But I think you guys get the picture. So just go down a little bit. And once you get to this part, you'll obviously have some stairs sitting on top and everything with a nice little height. Ooh, and I... That's actually not nice too. You, you want the staircase to look nice going down. But yeah, once you get down to this section, I'll show you uh, what, whatever desired height you want to go down. I'll show you what to do from there with building the actual baroques area, which is going to be down here somewhere. So go ahead and build the staircase real quick. Okay, so I did add these two end site stairs real quick. Apology end site. But, um, and I also did remove this just for the staircase door because I was messing up on that staircase a lot. So now that we got the staircase finished though, you should have something like this, just a winding, completely solid nether brick staircase that goes down something like that and leads into this um, little hallway right here. This is where we're going to go ahead and start building all the, uh, um, I guess where the shop area of the build would be, either that or depending on what you're building. This will also just be kind of like a little, um, I can't, I can't remember what the word is called, but it's a place where they keep all the people that are buried, all the special people who, who are like in a special tomb or something like that. The word will come to me eventually. Maybe, maybe not in this video, but it'll come to me in real life eventually. <laughs> all right, but for this uh, little area right here, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna continue the floor with nether bricks like this, and we're gonna have a three by three open space. So continue the floor right here, and you can see how we got three blocks here, three blocks going to the ceiling, and we can start replacing the ceiling with nether bricks as well. This area is gonna have dark oak planks as well. We're gonna have dark oak planks here, here, going around the hallway right here. And from here, it's really just kind of up to you what you wanna build. I'll, I'll show you, um, I'm not gonna keep the hallway going as long as I want, but what you could do is you could have like little corners where say right here, you can go down a different hallway and you can create a kind of maze, cause, oh, it's catacombs. That's what the word was, catacombs. Um, if you guys have ever seen the movie uh, Catacombs of Paris, it's about a complete maze of dead people and graveyards and stuff like that. But yeah, that's kind of the feel we're going for in this graveyard. And so you could continue this. I mean, you could continue this for a long time, making intersections and paths where, um, you know, like right here, you could have a little path that goes over there and you can have this entire gridding like maze of just catacombs going around the entire area. But for this video, I'm really just gonna go ahead and show you how to build a little section of it and you can continue from there what you want. So we'll go ahead and break these walls real quick, which is made of glass. I tell you what, working in glass, I'm not used to it still. I, I started doing this because I thought it would give my builds a clean texture, which I think it sort of does. It, it, it captures a nice clean texture for building and everything, but it's really strange. It's it's when you can see the sun through the walls and then it looks like there's nothing around you, but there really is a ton more blocks around you. That's, that's strange. Anyways, for the catacombs, we're just going to kind of build this kind of looking grave like here. You, you see how this is where like the dead people would live. Maybe we could put something brighter in there like oak planks or something like that so that you can actually see into it. We could put torches on the walls right here. And this is just where like dead people would be buried and everything. Uh, we could put another torch right there and you can see how we're getting this kind of catacomb looking kind of feel. Uh, we could put some, if we get some skeleton heads, we could put those right there. Maybe one right here, something like that on the wall. Uh, we could get some cobwebs and put them in the ceilings to make it look a little bit creepier. Uh, maybe a little bit higher up if we get bricks like that. Yeah, and put some cobwebs up like there. And you see, it's kind of got, it, it almost looks like, it almost resembles the, um, the mines, you know, the mines and Minecraft that you find sometimes when you find them, there's mine carts and everything. It's kind of got that same height and structure, except it's just a place where you would bury 
people who have died. Let me fix that real quick, whoops. But yeah, so you just keep modeling this and maybe if you wanted a shop or something like that too, what I did is I put like, um, I put the floor right here, I put the dark oak right here and then I got some chest. For shop area, if, you, if that's what you wanna do, you don't have to go all out and make this entire huge maze. That's just if you want, uh, if you're building this like for maybe a mini games world or just something like that and you wanted maybe a maze, that would be something really cool, just having this huge catacombs. But for shop area, this is what you could do. You could get some item frames, put that right there. Maybe get some bone to signal that you're selling bones right here and then some string to, you know, say that you're selling string right here. And then you could put a sign down if you wanted to saying, let's get the sign out real quick. I don't know, like let's say uh, two stacks, without that dash, two stacks of bones for, let's see, for, I don't know, one diamond. Uh, that sounds like a decent price actually. That's not too bad depending on if you have super farms and stuff like that. But yeah, so this is just kind of the model you would go after and it's really up to you guys from here. Uh, it depends on what you want your catacombs to look like. This is just an example of mine. I'd have more cobwebs. I'd probably add more detail to like fence every once in a while, maybe not have the floor just all solid um, nether brick. I'd probably add some other textures or, or even cooler yet, uh, let's get some grass path. If you guys can tell, I really haven't built this. This is just kind of winging it, but I think it's actually turning all right. Let's get some podzol. Maybe some, gra actually, you know, gravel, stone. If you guys have ever used this texture floor, it makes it look very earthy and really nice. And let's say cobblestone. So if you get that and start replacing the floor with just random gravel everywhere and stone and stuff, you get this kind of earthy looking floor. It doesn't look necessarily as creepy as the nether bricks because it's not as dark and it doesn't have that dark texture, but it creates this cool looking kind of floor. Like you can see, uh, I'll just get rid of that sign real quick. But yeah. It really depends on what you guys want from here though. This is just my example of the catacombs. I didn't really go all too extensive in the, my survival world when I built this, just because it was a little shop. So I just had this section, I had this little staircase going down and then I had some extra storage rooms for all the bones. Cause you know, one big chest, uh, one double chest isn't enough to hold all the bones I have for my farms that I build and stuff like that. But it's really up to what you guys want. And with that, I think that should be kind of the close of the video. We got the catacombs done. We got this cool little staircase for the graveyard. And we got the doors, the floor, and the actual graves itself. I really hope you guys did like this video. If you did, go ahead and like and subscribe, especially if you're feeling giddy today. That would be awesome. And um, if you guys want to see future videos, just comment down below what type of videos you'd like to see, what type of building tutorials. I thought I'd go with the cemetery just because it's uh, almost Halloween. It's in a couple of days and you know, or a couple of weeks. I don't know. It's, it's around there. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and I hope you guys have a great rest of the week, and enjoy.